Since Roman infantry has gotten shield wall, I thought it would be fun to test two extremes uh, with two defensive Roman units with shield wall. Not all Roman um units have it, but these uh, Protectoris Domestici have it, and the Armageri Defensoris have it. And both of these units have the potential to be a good shield wall unit. Decent melee defense, good armor, good health. With the armor and health being higher for the uh, Protectoris Domestici. So, first we're going to be in a spaghetti wall here. So this is the spaghetti shield wall. And what uh, I'm fighting up against Uar warriors here, so these guys are going to be... They're going to be trying to take on a unit way above their weight class. Uh, and a unit that has both decent decent charging capabilities and decent and decent uh, uh, extended combat capabilities because the melee attack together with the bonus versus infantry makes the Uar warriors oh they decided to turn around so let's fast forward uh, makes the Uar warriors able to both do a lot of damage on the charge and do a lot of damage in extended melee so the idea is that the long thin line is going to maximize the amount of men that are going to get hit by the charge bonus so this should be very bad for these guys uh, on the other hand the formation i'm going to be using here is going to be a more compact formation so this formation is let's see this formation is six ranks deep and uh, it's going to be it's going to be uh, screenshotted as well so there maybe from the other side just because the guys look more handsome from that side Oh yes, this is it. Maybe focus on... <laughs> Maybe... Oh, this is too much fun. Maybe focus on uh, that fellow over there, because he looks a bit... He looks a bit worried. Uh, okay, and he has every right to be. So, the idea is that with the... With the uh, two ranks deep formation, more men are going to get hit. With this formation, less men are going to get hit straight away. However, the unit is going to get wrapped around. But in this setup, these guys are not fighting yet. They are not in range with their weapons. You can see what happens over here when you try to use the spaghetti shield wall. Uh, these guys killed 10 Uar warriors. Uh, the Uar warriors just destroyed the entire unit. And these guys are losing decisively. However... I think it's fairly obvious they're going to get more than 10 kills here. So, let's see... Uh, Protectores... Uh, yes, they are getting 20... 30... 40 kills, maybe? 40-something kills? Yeah, 40-something kills here for the... For the um, Armageri Defensores... The, or for the, uh, for the Protectores that were in... 34 kills for the Protectores that were in the 6 ranks deep, deep formation. So, uh, f more than 4 times uh, the amount of kills. We're going to do the same thing here with the, with the Armageri Defensores. Uh, but with a slight difference. So this 6 ranks deep was more effective than... Two, uh, two ranks deep or one rank deep. So, what if we create a column shield wall? And um, the column shield wall has, yeah, a bunch of ranks. And we know from previous testing that the column or the noodle formation, as I call it, because it tends to, it tends to move like this when you move it around the battlefield. Um, the noodle formation has done very well against cavalry charges and shock infantry charges. And um, the reason why is this so over here i mean the 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 one rank deep is or the spaghetti is never going to do well against a uh, high charge good infantry however what happens over here is that only these guys are fighting to begin with only the guys that make contact instead of wrapping around like this immediately what happens is that the ur warriors run past the unit and these guys are just standing around looking stupid so, a big portion of the unit doesn't make contact, and you might be surprised to see what happens in the ensuing melee here, <laughs> because it's quite uh, quite funny. 
So now the guys start to engage here and notice, the, the however, that on the Armageddon Defensores, they still have the defensive bonuses associated with the shield wall. The shield wall doesn't break and uh, they are already at above 40 kills, closing in on 70 kills. The war warriors are wavering. And lo and behold, now the Armageddon Defensores are wavering uh, themselves. They are at minus one morale. Winning slightly there. However, the UR Warriors have broken. So, makes the Armageddon Defensores extremely cost effective in this particular engagement. Um, this is sort of an oddity because, I mean, it's going to be hard to use the noodle formation in combat to, to form up as quickly and to go into the defensive formation. Uh, it is, however, a, a viable last resort. Um, especially if your enemy just has a, has a shock army and gives multiple attack orders and doesn't really pay attention, then you can use this trick. I'm going to show you a battle where, uh, a bit later on, I'm going to show you a battle where I'm trying to use the Roman army in column formation to make up for their lack of killing power. And, and So let's... Um, I'll hold off judgment on the viability of Noodle until I've shown you that battle. Strength and honor.